Hello everyone. I am an avid watcher of YouTube videos of DIY people making cool, cool things and have nibbled in trying to do some of that myself. I'm based off of one of those videos, which I'll leave the left link in the description. I built a planter box. It turned out so nice, I left it inside, but now I'm gonna build one for the outside. I'm gonna use these uh, cedar fence uh, planks that I picked up from uh, Menards and uh, let's see how this thing goes. Planks are a little irregular right now, so I'm gonna rip these on the table saw to make a nice edge and, and uh, cut it to the final width. Since these are uh, fence pickets, they're pretty rough on the edges, so I had to clean it up. They were five and a half inches wide to begin with. I took some off of both sides and made it to a uh, final dimension or width of five inches. Uh, they're pretty rough, and I don't really feel like sanding at all things, so I have a hand planer, so I might just try planing and see if that makes it better. I don't need it to be so smooth, but uh, just Decent looking. So I'm gonna give that a shot. So I'm gonna try using this uh, Bosch planer, a uh, hand electric planer, and see if I can get at least one, one of the edges uh, fairly clean. I'm gonna just stick it to the, the zero position here just so that it just takes a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't leave lines. Uh, haven't done this before, so let's see if that works. It's certainly not perfect. There's places where it didn't even touch it. So the boards are, you know, these are fence boards, so it's not in the greatest uh, shape. But for the purposes of an outside planter box, I think uh, this will do. We're gonna cut the four uh, leg portions. I'm gonna make it 35 inches tall. So I cleaned up one of the edge here on the miter saw and I'm going to have a stop block set and I'm going to cut it to 35 inches off on each of them. Okay, I'm gonna use some uh, pocket holes, which I made with this uh, Craig jig, the, the cheapest Craig jig, and some glue. And let's see how that goes. I'm gonna use uh, these squares to help me make sure that these things are in square. And we'll see how that works. Right, so let's put some glue on here. Ready? Make sure it's all lined up. In my past project, this is where I've had trouble not having the things. I'm also going to pay very close attention to the, the screws because uh, these are Craig Outdoor one and a quarter inch screws. These boards are only about five eighth inch thick, so I'm a little afraid it's going to actually split the wood. My Uh -huh. 
Looks pretty good. Let's check for square. Right. Looks really good. I have now cut six pieces, five inch wide, four feet long. These are gonna make the front and back uh, of the planter box. I cut those on the miter saw uh, using a stop block so that uh, I get the exact thing. I'm gonna plane those again just to clean it up and then we'll assemble. Before I start assembling this, I'm going to use the router here and put a little chamfer on the edge just to make it look a little nice between the horizontal boards uh, that make up the planter box. Just lay, laying the two front pieces on the ground and putting the three horizontal pieces on and screwing it, putting some glue and then screwing it in. Okay, now we've assembled the box. Still missing the bottom, but we used uh, some glue and some nails or screws to secure all this. And we're ready for the next step. All right, it's starting to come together. So we got it almost all assembled. I put these uh, stretchers down inside. Uh, it's kind of in an angle. And the goal there is to have the water channel down. So now I'm gonna cut pieces to go horizontally here uh, to, to make the base of it. And, uh, and then we're almost, we'll be done, all right? The design is certainly not mine, and uh, you'll see much more details on how to do this in the link that I post below of the original video. So I put a little piece down here so that the water can drip down to the back. Yep, things are coming together. So I built a, a top ledge, or a top, I don't know what you call it, like a rail for the planter box, which is 45 degree angles, put together by, uh, uh, by uh, pocket screws. Yep. And overall, things are looking good. So I added a base, uh, like a little shelf on the bottom and added the little stuff inside. So things are almost good for day one and ready for a little bit of sanding and maybe some uh, stain or polyurethane probably, or maybe the spar, we'll see. Okay, day two. We're going to give this a quick sand, probably maybe start with 160 to get rid of some of these uh, really bad stuff here. Uh, maybe go up to 120 and then stop there and then we'll put some finish on it. So far looking pretty good. Okay, sanding is all done. Now we're gonna move on to putting a little bit of a protection on the wood. So I'm using a spar varnish, a K bar, or I don't know how you pronounce it, but spar varnish, uh, just to give it some extra protection in the sun and the weather. Before this is left over from a previous project, maybe one coat, maybe two, we'll see.
Okay, so we got a couple of coats of uh, spar varnish slash urethane on it. it was, uh, I had some leftover spar from a previous project, so I used that, but ran out halfway through and then found out that it was no longer available to buy at Menard. So I had to switch to spar urethane, uh, oil-based spar urethane halfway through. That was about the same. I think it's probably just different branding between the urethane and the varnish. Um, now we'll just let it dry. Ended up having to do three coats instead of two. Now we're going to line it with a fabric cloth on the bottom and then a plastic to protect on the wood. And we'll poke a couple of holes right here so that the water can escape in the, from the plastic. And we should be good to go.